There are hundreds and hundreds of channels making great fashion content every day on YouTube, but with so many options out there, which ones are actually worth your time? I'm going to share some of my favorite channels and explain why I think they're the best. Of course, I'm gonna be missing out a ton of creators in this list, so don't be offended if they don't make it in. These are just the main ones that I find myself watching without fail. If there are any particular ones you think that I should know about, please do let me know in the comments. Okay, let's start off with the obvious one. If you've only ever watched one fashion YouTube video, it was probably a Tim DeSaint video. From my understanding, Tim started off by writing fashion blogs, but then exploded onto the YouTube fashion scene when he released a simple video showing how to style a white t-shirt in six different ways. And ever since that video, he has been consistently releasing banger after banger. He has this way of filtering down fashion fundamentals into cinematic and extremely watchable videos. All of his content, whether it be short form or long form, is packed full of value. It's a fantastic resource for anyone interested in fashion but especially for those who are just starting off their fashion journey. Just like that very first video he released, all of his new videos are simple, easy to understand, and I always click them when they pop up in my feed. The next fashion YouTuber is another one you will have undoubtedly heard of, and it's Daniel Simmons. Although his YouTube content these days is mainly focused around lifestyle, his fashion and style advice still shines through. I think my favorite thing about Daniel, and I'm sure others will agree, is his incredible fashion evolution from when he started his channel until today. He really shows that you don't have to be locked into one style and your tastes can change over the years and your fashion sense can follow suit. He's really cracked the code on what it is to find your personal style. He knows exactly what he likes and he knows what clothes to buy that will look good on him. The result is that he puts together these really simple and classic outfits, but they always look so fresh and unique. I also think that he's probably the most influential in terms of fashion trends within my little online fashion circle. When he starts to get on a certain trend or brand, you'll see that a lot of people, including myself, start to notice those things as well. He may not come up with the trends himself, but he definitely brings a lot of exposure to those trends by styling them really well. And I'm personally really thankful that he does that. I've discovered a lot of new brands and styles that have become staples in my wardrobe, thanks to him. The next one has a little bit of a story to it. So when I took a break from YouTube, I was still following all the creators that I'm mentioning in today's video. But the one I was eagerly following and still am is Harry Has. I consider Harry a good friend as far as YouTube buddies go. We chat quite often and I think our styles and personalities are quite similar. So I've always been naturally drawn to his content and I'm sure you would be as well if you like the stuff that I put out. One thing Harry has a special talent for is his keen eye for upcoming fashion trends. You're pretty much guaranteed to find that any clothing or shoes he's talking about today will be all over YouTube and Instagram in the next six to 12 months. He often identifies things that people aren't sure about at the time but then in a few months, they're all wearing it. He also uses his widespread knowledge of the fashion industry to put out an array of different content. He comes up with really interesting topics and questions that you didn't know needed answering until he made his video. And on top of all that, he presents his videos in probably the most clean, simple, and easy to follow manner. The next YouTuber I watch all the time is Drew Joyner. This guy has such a vast and rich knowledge, not only about current trends, but fashion history and the meaning of fashion. He often does deep dives into subjects that seem really niche, but they actually affect the entire fashion industry and everyone within it. Some of his videos touch upon nuanced topics that you wouldn't immediately think about when buying clothing or shoes. For example, his last video was about the Diderot effect, which is a social phenomenon that relates to consumer goods. It's an extremely interesting watch and I highly recommend watching it 
after you're done with this video. True has also got to be one of the leading YouTubers when it comes to Japanese Americana, which is something I've become more and more interested in over the past few years. All of his stuff is just so analytical and detailed and also very well written and presented. Now the final YouTuber on this list is someone who I'm just realizing as I'm filming this I don't think I've ever heard them say their own name. So I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but it's Christina Mikas. Watching Christina has completely changed the way I think about clothes. And I don't just mean how to wear them, I mean how to buy them as well. She talks a lot about controlling spending habits and she has some really good examples of low or no buy months which are really interesting to watch. Not only are these types of habits great for the environment, but they're also superb on your own wallet. Christina also discusses how to get the most out of the clothes you already own. We've all had that feeling when we're looking at our wardrobe, which is packed full of clothes, but we feel like we've got nothing to wear. This is exactly the type of stuff that Christina specializes in, and it's really helped me understand my own style and what I like. I also love the capsule wardrobe videos she does every few months. She follows her own advice and often uses the same pieces for different capsules, but keeps them looking fresh and different. So those are just some of my favorite fashion YouTubers at the moment, and I think you'll get a lot of value from them if you don't already follow them. There are definitely a lot more that I love and follow as well, and there's probably loads that I don't even know about yet. So if you think there's anyone I need to see, please do let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new inspiration. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.